Have you ever needed a reliable power supply for emergencies or camping? Well, I'm going to show you how I made this plastic box into a powerful backup power supply on a budget. Stay tuned and enjoy. I managed to get all the parts over the course of the last year, taking advantage of specials. If you look out for deals, you can really do well. With a bit of creativity and some DIY skills, I was able to transform this ordinary box into a versatile power supply that can be used in a variety of situations. Please enjoy watching the video to the end. As always, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. This is my 120 amp hour lithium battery from Kings. I've got it wired up to the Kings uh, 1500 watt power inverter. Around these cables, I crimp that connection on the end, put a heat shrink on it. Uh, inline fuse with 125 amp fuse run that down crimped another connector on the end and bolted that into the positive side of the inverter we've got this other red cable but i've put black heat shrink on it also it couldn't possibly reach anyway simply do that to save money because 28 dollars a meter i had to buy a meter so that's what i did so we've got that wired up uh, with 150 amp 2g cable they call it this is the box I've thrown it in. It's a King's 45 litre, just a plastic tub. When I put the battery and the inverter in, before I modified the box, they were just snug up together, no room. The hole in the bottom, there was like a drain plug. I've cut that out because it was sticking right in and it stopped the um, battery from sitting back. Also, it's a little bit of ventilation. I'll be cutting more vents in. I cut this section out, that way the battery fits in up under this lip. And I cut out this section and this section. That way the feet of the inverter push right into this sidewall and it creates a gap in the middle between the battery and the inverter, which will allow greater airflow. I'm going to be cutting in more air vents. Now I'm going to put a hole in the front to run an electrical cable through for the 240 volt or the AC. So I can run a cord out of that and I'm going to cut a few more vent holes in it and also got to cut another hole in here to get an Anderson plug out, which I use to run my trolling motor. This battery gets used to run my trolling motor and it will be used to run the inverter, not at the same time, but it, uh, it gives it a dual purpose. This is an idea that I picked up from another video. It's a great idea. I'm going to drill a hole in the box here. It's a plumbing fitting, it's 50 mil. It's like a compression fitting, it'll screw up in the middle and that's a cap. So when I want to use the inverter, which won't be very often, but when I do want to use it, I will just throw the cord through that hole and pull it out. When I'm done with it, stick it away. That way it's safe and kept good. Of course, always wear your safety goggles. I'll put them on now just to be safe. We're just going to tidy up the mess and I don't have a power point out here. So we'll give this a go. So to see if it works, fingers crossed it's a goer. Oh, that works. Makes noise anyway. I don't know if this vacuum has too much power, we'll see. Well that sucks. Oh, the hole's drilled out. Let's uh, bung this in. So that goes on like that. And we uh, tighten that up. That, that's protruding on the inside more than I'd like. So we'll um, get another tool. Might as well plug it in and see if we cut that off. I'm not even put together yet, I'm using it, I love it. Oh, Let's give it a vacuum. There's this airflow holes. That's where the fan is in the back of the inverter. Let's put a few here just so it can suck some air in. This is going to be in a dry area, so I'm not worried about it being totally waterproof. It's more about airflow. Look, I've got safety glasses on. <laughs> All right, 
got that's three holes at the back. The other one down here as well. Uh, that will hopefully allow it to suck some air in. We need to secure the battery. We figured out the best way to do this. Tiana used their massive brain and said, why don't we just cut some slots in the box, run this strap through, which I have on an old battery box, and that will secure it through there. And I thought, you know what? You're not just a pretty face. So that's what we're gonna do. What the plan is just cut a slot with that oscillating tool and we can run the strap through there. Hey presto, Bob's your uncle. It's secured. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna go a little bit wider than that. Where's my pencil going? What do I do with it? Your mum will kill me if I lose that. That's one of our art pencils. Don't tell Sam I'm using the pencils. Never used one of these tools before, they're great. I love it. I wanted one for years, never bought one, bought one for this project. I'm gonna keep it. Dan, you're gonna come around this other side and just hang on to that box so it doesn't slide away on me. Yeah. Please. My little chicken. Love this kid. Um I bet it works now. Yeah, the kid, have a tiara. Or a highly or a full yeah. They're all good. The battery strap is in. Got to work out where this Anderson plug is going in. Use the Anderson plug, throw in my electric motor, charging the battery, whatever else an Anderson plug would be used for. That runs straight off the battery. It's got a 60 amp fuse on it. Uh, mark the hole out before and that's where I'm going to cut it. Time to try and get this into position. This is a bit of lock tight. Hopefully it's done in. Well, that looks like the um, that looks like the build complete. So we'll put the power lead in. That's going to live in there. Um, we'll get that and we'll try it out. Eh? Here we have it. That's the um, socket back in. The power lead will come out. Up and over the top. Cord just wraps up in there. I'm just going to leave that plugged in. Uh, you get your on-off button here. It's now off. Comes up, you get your inverter, 1500 watt inverter, 120 amp hour battery, positive. You got your inline fuse with 125 amp that goes down to the positive post on the inverter. You get your negative cable coming across. That's a red cable, but it's got, let's put black heat shrink on there. It wasn't worth the extra $28 for that much cable. So that's the circuit complete. It's just the 12 volt. Anderson plug with a 60 amp fuse and that will just go out through that hole there. That will carry on and continue to be used in my 12 volt trolling motor yeah, or whatever else I need 12 volts for. Pretty happy with that. Here we are outside my house pretending we're camping because 
Okay, pink. Okay, pink. Oh, look at that. Beautiful marinated piece of beef here. I'm going to throw it in the, in the pressure cooker. This is a, a real time test for this thing to make sure it's actually working. So, take the lid off a little bit. Plug it in as you do. Plug in. Turn the inverter on. We've got power here. Put the lid on. Do diddly diddly do. Put manual. And we'll set it for an hour. Ah, oh, bugger. There you go. <laughs> that's, uh, that's set to do its thing. And uh, yeah, we'll come back and have a look in a minute. Tucked inside for a bit and then come back out and it's already pressurized. It's pretty good. Still heating, should kick over to countdown shortly. Yeah, while well, it's working, it's doing its job. Let's see how the, everything else feels. The inverter's on. Uh, seems to be doing its job. What does it feel like? Oh, it's just a little bit warm. Cables. Yeah, there's a little bit of temperature in them, but they're not. They're certainly not hot at all. They're just, just nicely warm, which is um very good. Forty-five minutes into the cook, I can tell you that the cooling fan has kicked on and off quite a few times. This is certainly no warmer than it was. Unfortunately, I don't have a shunt fitted to this yet. Something I'll look at, something I'll look at getting. Uh, so I can't exactly say how much power it's used, but I'm guessing it's probably still got quite a bit of power left in it. I will be getting a shunt and we'll check it out later on. This is just a budget build at the moment. One minute to go. Here we go. Let's listen for the beeps. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. I can't count. Yippee! All right, that's it. It says eat. So that's what we're going to do. Let's see. Whee! Old faithful. Thanks for watching.